Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I got a couple um, things I'm going to talk to you about. Um, and uh, first thing is uh, with the um, Color Finale Pro. I've, I've talked about this before. Uh, I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and go ahead and uh, use it because I was interested in using my Canon C100 with the Aces um, standard. And uh, which um, I'm going to open it up right now. And uh, we're going to go to the little gear icon. and now down here I've already had this before with the uh, standard um, color finale update which I got for free. Now this upper right here, uh, en enable color management, um, this was a uh, I think a $50 upgrade. Uh, simply by clicking on it you can uh, choose your camera type and then obviously the output from that. Now this is uh, still a bit limited but I'm going to talk a little bit about it later and then from there you can actually do exposure, temperature, and tint um, right within uh, this section. Now um, I was a little confused as well since I have a Canon C100. The only one that they show is a Canon EOS section and while I did actually um, talk to the developer they wouldn't give me much detail on how you would use this Canon EOS section or what cameras but they did note um, that they are adding more cameras which they uh, specifically mentioned uh, as they get more uh, they hire more developers so um, uh, which I figured they would but um, now once I apply this right here uh, I do have this is Canon C100 log footage and then I'm going to go ahead and choose my output. Um, just to give you an example and as you can see it's not quite uh, what it should really look like. Uh, of course I'm not uh, blaming the uh, developers and or the uh, final, uh, final Cut or excuse me Color Finale Pro. Obviously it doesn't cover Canon C100s at this time so um, I'm probably more than likely expecting they're going to uh, cover that camera. But like I said, it does have other features as well. If your camera is not supported, look out for it uh, because they're going to cover more cameras in the future. And then, of course, it does give you some other features such as presets you can use within um, Color Finale, just to let you know. But uh, most interesting, they do. There's been a recent update to Final Cut Pro 10, which is 10.3.3. Uh, um, it does add a couple of new uh, log processing features, uh, most notably um, support for Canon Log 3 and uh, Sony S Log 3, S Gambit 3, which I actually kind of played around with. Um, I've also mentioned this in other tech news as well, which uh, here we're showing right here the Canon Log and actually, we, well here's Canon Log 2 and Canon Log 3 as well and then of course the added Sony S-Log gambits as well. Now actually I was trying this out with my Canon C100 footage and it's actually, some of these settings actually look pretty good. Now, the, originally you have to use, I think it's a Canon C500 or 300 to get the addition of the um, Canon Log 3, but actually it looks pretty decent, um, that one not as much. And um, I'm really surprised um, this might actually be usable on a Canon C100. Obviously you probably want, may want to wait or do it a different way, but uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. So uh, that's my updated news for the um, Color Finale Pro and uh, some of the new features in um, Final Cut Pro 10.3.3.